In this video, I will show you that how you can create Binance Web3 wallet using Binance application in very easy steps. I will also tell you that how you can backup your Web3 wallet and what are the features of the Binance Web3 wallet. So let's come on the video without wasting any time. So I have opened Binance application on my cell phone. So after opening the application, you have to click on the wallets. Click on wallets. So after clicking on the wallet, on the top you can see there is a Web3 and you have to click on the Web3. If you want to use Binance Exchange application, then currently you are on the exchange and you are using the Binance Exchange. If you want to create Web3 wallet and use Web3 wallet, then you have to come on the Web3 wallet. Click on Web3. So after clicking the Web3, you will see this page and you have to click on the create wallet. Now your wallet is creating. It will take less than a minute to create your wallet and it says wallet created. And here you can see our Binance Web3 wallet is created. This is the home page of the Binance Web3 wallet. And here you can see some assets. So currently we have $0 in our wallet. So before doing anything on crypto, first you have to backup your wallet. So click on the wallet. So here you can see it says that wallet one is not backed up. So it is your wallet. Currently you did not turn any backup. Now click on the wallet one and here you have to do the backup. So to complete the backup, you have to connect your Gmail ID and you have to give some permissions because this backup is encrypted and password protected. So whenever you reuse the Web3 wallet, you must have access of this email. Also, you must remember your password. So here you have to click on the allow. Now click on backup. So here you can see it says your password is used to encrypt your key share. It says please backup your wallet and set your recovery password. Click on backup. And here you can see backup with Google Drive, which is recommended. We will use backup with Google Drive or you can also backup with QR code. But we will use backup with the Google Drive. So click on this and here you have to set your recovery password. So you must remember this password. So let's add recovery password, confirm recovery password. After this, you have to read the safety tips and click on I understand on the both buttons. Click on continue. All right. So here you can see our backup is completed. Now your Binance Web3 wallet is secure. Click on the back button, cancel this, all right, refresh this. Now again, click on wallet one and here you can see. Now it does not show any message that your wallet is not backed up because we have successfully backed up our Web3 wallet. Now you can also set wallet name, click on wallet one, click on the three dots. Now here you can see the customize, click on customize and here you can set the wallet name and the sample. So I have added the sample and wallet name. So Binance also provide you facility emergency export. After emergency export, you will get some keys and your Binance Web3 wallet will be deactivated from the Binance application. But you can also import this wallet into Trust Wallet, Metamask, which I will show you in other videos. Come again on the Web3. So here you can see this is the home page of the Web3 wallet. Some assets are present here. You can also buy NFT. If you come on the market, here you can see the current prices of the crypto market. If you come on the swap, you can easily swap the coins from one coin to another coin. But there are some limitations also. So if you click on the earn, you can also earn by staking coin. Just like if you invest USDT, you will get 16% in one year similarly if you invest in usdt you will get different percentage i will show you that how you can stack usdt in web3 wallet in the next videos and if you click on the discover here you will find d apps that how you can use pancake uniswap and other dd apps so i hope you understand that how you can easily create web3 wallet using the binance application i hope you like the video thank you for watching see you in the next video